For 50 years, Eco Cooperation has been working on these issues, eradicating some, tackling others, and consistently working with enterprising people and organizations in 44 developing countries globally. With twin aims to decentralize and work in partnership, we reach out to both the grassroots and state level, working towards a world without poverty and injustice. Building an extensive worldwide network and broad expertise, ECO is working towards securing sustainable livelihoods by linking aid and trade and increasing collaboration with the public and private sectors, focusing on three Ps, people, planet and profit. In India, where the complexity lies in its inequalities, permeating all aspects of the social, economic and political fabric, in spite of seemingly positive economic indicators, ECO has worked on a multi-stakeholder approach, benefiting the base of the pyramid populations. It has engaged with government programs like JSLPS and NELPS, where it provides its experience in value chain and market systems development approaches, business incubation and investment mobilization, thereby making the programs more sustainable. Through Millennium Alliance, ECO supports social innovators in India to test and scale innovative solutions while creating space for clean energy practitioners and ecosystem enablers to influence critical issues through Clean Alliance. ECO offers technical expertise to corporates like JK Papers, Tata, APPL and FIKI to recommend social initiatives that merge corporate business expertise, corporate social responsibility commitment and community development. In Bangladesh, around 50 million people have insufficient access to nutritious and safe food. Many people struggle all the year round for basic necessities, especially in October and November, which is known as the hunger season, in order to stay alive. This is primarily due to overpopulation, climate change and natural disasters. But when women came in control, things changed. ECO in cooperation with local organization formed self-help groups training women on income generating activities by providing them goats, sewing machine and also training them on ways to earn livelihood through these means. Women were able to rent land and grow crops from the seeds provided by ECO. Women in charge of increased household income through better market access and improved production spend the extra income on more nutritious food and hygiene products. Now imagine multiplying this effect for the 120,000 women that ECO has reached. The position of women changes. In addition, as part of our work to build sustainable and affordable business models, ECO and partners have also been working on improved on-site sanitation technologies for urban slum areas of Bangladesh. ECO's global initiative in promoting entrepreneurship to improve livelihoods is an example well exhibited in Nepal. ECO has empowered thousands of small women farmers in remote hills by developing their business acumen in agriculture. We have partnered with sustainable social enterprises for the benefit of the most marginalized. And our program beneficiaries have one thing in common. They are rising above the social stigma of HIV, disability and multiple marginalizations to lift themselves out of poverty and lead a dignified life. ECO's efforts in Kyrgyzstan have been very effective in dealing with the social issue of disability. Due to lack of state support and social awareness, parents and family take disability as a social taboo, often hiding their children with disabilities for fear of social stigma or exclusion. ECO facilitated a right-based approach promoting access to basic services for the physically and intellectually challenged. ECO then provided them with microloans for income generation activities like baking, farming and clothes manufacturing which led to employment opportunities and allowed them to have a stronger voice in society. Eco Cooperation's groundbreaking work across Asia has provided insights into the largely unexplored spaces between social, economic and political ideas central to policy debates, changing the way you look at persistent poverty in a world of plenty and helping mobilize resources for sustainable development. Working towards securing all the prerequisites of life without poverty and injustice for the poorest and assisting in the achievement of Millennium Development Goals. ECO has touched millions of lives. When you invest in an organization working for the bottom billions, you lift up the 1.8 billion people in it who struggle to stay alive. For 50 years, ECO has been proving it. And now, it's time for us to join hands and go even further to create lasting changes for those that still remain in the bottom billion. The challenges are great, but together we can achieve anything.